Hi everyone, Devni. Welcome back to my session. Guys, yesterday I already completed a whole concept of ACES and we solved a couple of examples in the last video. Guys, sir, miss that video? Just watch that. Able to solve any questions in this video. Today's session we will continue with a few more examples for better understanding in the ACES. If you take any examinations, not only for place but any examinations, definitely you can expect a questions from ACES. It's all about application of ratios. If you understand the concept of ratios, definitely you can approach it. If you guys are new to our channel, just subscribe our channel and share this information with your friends who are preparing for different examinations. Definitely our content will help you. I already completed few different topics in my previous videos. Watch those videos and make a note. Make a note. So definitely those all the content will help your placement. Everyone like like our video first of all. Like our video, it reaches to the maximum number of people. Without any delay, let's start with this sheet. Just go through these questions and post your answers in the comment section. Here the information. Four years ago, the ratio of ages of A to B is 11 is to 3. Present age of A is 2 times more than the present age of B. Then find the age of B 10 years hence. 4 years ago. 4 years ago. Here the ratio between A and B is 11 is to 3. So present is. If you go through that present is. Present age of A is 2 times more, guys. 2 times more means here the respective ratio is 3 is to 1. 4. You have to add 2 units to the B. Then find the age of B after 10 years. Find the age of B after 10 years. And you know the common point here. Difference of two persons age is always same after duration. After duration. Now you can able to see the difference here. 11 and 3, total difference is exactly equal to 8 units. 3 and 1, total difference is 2 units. We have to equate the opposite differences. So we are going to equate the opposite differences. If you multiply these ratio with the 4, now you will get the value of 12 is to 4. Now no need to change anything. Why? Because you can able to see the same difference. 11 and 3, difference is 8 units. 12 and 4, difference is 8 units. 3 becomes 4 or 11 becomes 12, 1 unit. 1 unit is exactly equal to 4 years ago. Why? Because we have a comparison 4 years ago to the present. And the difference is 4 years. If 1 unit is equal to 4 years, we have to identify that present age of B. Present age of B is 4 units. 4 into 4 is equal to 0. They have the question, what is the age of B 10 years since? 10 years since, after 10 years, is of B is come to this question. this information the age of father is four times of his son five years ago the age of father was five times of his son so what is the present age of father so see the present age of father and son Present age of father and son is 4 times. See, father's age is 4 times of son. It's the ratio of 4 is 2. 5 years ago. 5 years ago. Yeah, the ratio of father and son is 5 times. 5 is 2. Now, here the information you should understand, guys. Right? See, here present age ratio is 4 is to 1. 5 years ago, the age of father was 5 times of his son. Now, what is the present age of father? 
Now, if you observe the difference, if you observe the difference is four units. If you observe the difference is three units. Now we have to equate the opposite differences. Or we are going to equate the opposite differences means multiply here with the three units, multiply here with the four units. Opposite difference multiply. You will get fifteen is to three. You will get sixteen is to four. Now you can able to see the difference of twelve units. Now present to the past we have a five years. Now see here the difference of one unit. One unit is equal to five years. Then what is the present days of further? Your present days of further is sixteen units. Sixteen is multiplied with a five. Present days of further is eight. Yeah. Next one. On to this question. The ratio of present days of Prakash and Kader is three is to six years ago. The ratio of their days was five is to seven. Find the present days of Kader. Very good, brother. Let me go through this. This question. The information. The ratio of present days of Prakash and Kadir is three is to present days. Present days of Prakash and Kadir. Six years ago. Six years ago. Six years ago. The ratio is five is to seven. Now here you can able to see the difference of two units. You can able to see the difference of one unit. Now we have to equate the opposite differences. Now we are going to equate the opposite differences. I'll to play present value with it. Now you are changing the values as six eight. Now here you have to consider the same ratio. Why? Because difference is two. Now see eight becomes seven or six become a five one unit. One unit is exactly equal to six. The question: Present days of Kadir. Present days of Kadir is eight units. Eight is multiplied with the six. Answer: four. Eight years is the correct answer. Let us solve this question. Go through this information. Asha was born when her father was thirty-eight years of age. The time of Asha born, your father's age is thirty-eight years. When her brother four years younger was born, so Asha's brother. When Asha's brother born, her mother's age is thirty-six years. And what is the difference of their parent days? And you already know that. See, Asha's brother is four years younger. Now, see here, you should understand this point. Asha's brother born when mother age is thirty six, and Asha was born for the age is thirty four. And the difference of Asha and Asha's brother is four years. So definitely, uh, Asha's father age when when Asha's brother is born is. Thirty-eight plus four years. Here the question: What is the difference of their ages? So difference of their ages is six. Difference of ages is six years. Okay. So through this information.
previous question the sum of the present years of father and son is 42 after 7 years the father's age will be 3 times of his son what is the present age of father present age of father and son is 42 we have a data see after 7 years after 7 years father's age will be 3 times of son son is x father's age is 3x so it is exactly 3 times now we are talking about 7 years ago what about the present age the present age of father is dx plus 7. Now see, this is after 7 years, if you want the present is 3x minus of 7. Same way, son's age is x minus 7. If sum of these two values is 42, means we have 4x minus 14 is equal to 4. 4x is equal to and x is exactly equal to. Now here the question, what is the present days of father? Present days of father is 3x minus of 7. If 3 is multiplied with a 14, 42 minus of 7, present days of father is, present days of father is, the next question. A is 2 years older than B, who is twice as old as C. The total of the ages of A, B, C is 27. How old B is? We have a comparison A to B and B to C. How to start from C? Why? Because C, A says is depends on B, B says is depends on C. Let us assume that S, C says is X. Now what about the B says? Who is twice as old? Twice as old means 2x. Now, AC is 2 years older. 2 years older is 2x plus 2. The comparison. If you go through that, you will get 5x plus 2 is equal to 27. Then x is equal to 4. Here the question. How old is B? So, B is 2x. 2 is multiplied with a 5 is equal to Now see this question. The ratio of present ages of a man and his wife is 5 is to 10. After 10 years, the ratio of the man and his wife will be 2. What will be the ratio of their ages after 20? See, we have a data. Present age of man 5 is 5 is 2. Now here men's age is 5x, wife age is 8x. After 10 years, after 10 years, so here age of man is 5x plus 10, woman is 8x plus 10, is in the ratio of 2 is 2, just cross multiply them. Now 15x plus 30 is equal to 15x plus 20. Now you will get x equal to 10 years. Another question, what is the age after 20 years? What will be the age ratio after 20 years? Now, 5x plus 10 is 60. 8x plus 10 is 80. Answer, 80 plus 10 is 90. Now, after 20 years, now here 80 years, here 110 years. Now, after cancellation, you will get the ratio of 8 is 2. For 10 years. But did you know that after 10 years, 
50 and here 90. This is after 10 years, but after 20 years means just add only 10 years. 70, 80. Respect to ratio 70 and 100. So here the respect to ratio is 70. Let us see. This is all about after 10 years. This is present. Find the difference in this. see this information 20 years old Manish is five times as old as his brother Chris see Manish is, is 20 years what about the Chris and they clearly mentioned that Manish is five times five times means definitely 20 divided by 4 you will get Chris is four years Manish 20 years Chris is four years how old Will Manish be when he is three times old as Chris? Now see, Manish after X years, Chris after X years, after X years, then it is exactly equal to three times. It is in the ratio of three is two. Twenty plus X is exactly equal to twelve plus three X. We get two X is equal to X is equal to. Hence. Of C, how old Manish? So now see, Manish present age is 20. After 4 years, now we become 3 times of K. So answer 24. Twenty four years. Let's try to solve this question and post your answer in the comments. Just go through this question you all these kind of guys. If you want PDF, you can download from my telegram channel. Search B2B VK. You can get my channel and download it. And follow me in the Instagram. Search Vision to Victory. You'll get my Insta page. If you have any queries related to your preparation or any if you have any doubts, you can reach me through Instagram. Try this one. See, the ratio of ages of Rahul and his wife after 7 years from now will be 7 years. His wife was born 23 years ago. Find the ages of Rahul after 2 years. Now see. After 7 years. Respect to ratio of Rahul. Rahul's wife is 7 is to 6. 7x and 6x about the present is present is of Rahul is 7x minus of 7 wife is 6 minus of we have a comparison his wife was born 23 years ago means his of his wife is 23 years 6 is 30 then you will get x find the age of Rahul after 2 years present is 35 minus of 7 According to the question, after two years is thirty-five minus of seven. Thirty-five minus of seven is exactly twenty-eight. Now, after two years, your answer is thirty. To this information. See, a father said to his son, I was as old as you are at the present at the time of your birth. The present days of father is 38 years now. The son's is 5 years back was dash. Sorry. 
Now let's see the data. Presentages. This is at the at the time of son's birth. They have a data related for father and son. Let's go through this information. Present as of father is 38 years. And present as of son, we don't know that. We have to identify the X. At the time of son's birth, son's age is 0. Now we have to correct this information. I was. I was means high is refers. I was means I refers father. Now see, father was means father is talking about the past days. I was as old as you are at the present at the time of your birth. See, whatever your present is, so my age at the time of your birth is same. Whatever your present is, which is same as when you are when you were birth. So that's why here present is of son at the time of son's birth, father's age is same. And you know that see, difference of their ages is always same. Or you will get x is equal to 9. Another question. What is the son's age 5 years back? Present age of son is 19 years. 19 minus 5 years back. If 5 years back, age of son is 14. I so hope you understand this session. So yesterday we already completed whole concept. Just go watch these two videos. Definitely you can able to solve any question. Until the next session, have a nice day. Good night, guys, and don't forget to subscribe.